Tonight we continue our ongoing look at how we are recovering from the 2019 flood. A Bellevue, Bellevue farm and education center was hit by March's floods. Two months later, they're close to reopening thanks to volunteers. However, there's still more work to be done. Reporter Phil Bergman is live in studio with more. Phil. Thanks, Jenny. The Gifford farm saw seven feet of water during the height of the flooding. Spring is normally the farm's busy season for school groups, but they've now had to travel to schools in the meantime. With the cleanup going strong, they're looking to get the farm running again soon. It's a quiet afternoon in the Fontenelle Forest. The first nice day in a long time at Gifford Farm. What we have is just a huge cleanup. Okay. And say just, because it's it, we've been working at it for about six weeks. Nancy Williams is the farm's director. So this is stuff we just pulled out of here last week. An educator at heart, disaster becomes a teaching opportunity. They're, they're science lessons. You know, this is what nature does. A walk around the property and the damage becomes obvious. It's where we work, but you know, we're all pretty attached to where we work. But you know, it, it it's hard for us. It's, it's sad for us. As she puts it, the form went through a mixer. What's left is what was spit out on the other end. We like to maintain that farm plus classroom kind of feeling, so we keep it very clean. And uh, so to see it all messed up like that is just, it's hard. The debris is gone, but mud remains. You can just see that's what every building looked like, this mud right here. So it's a lot to, it's a lot to clean up. All these things that we save and so much of it is donated. And you hate to think that somebody went to the trouble to donate something for us and it's just gone. But this is the only muddy room left. The rest is good as new. Thanks in large part to strangers lending a helping hand. It would take us twice as long to get everything done. Those volunteers are just great. They are willing to sacrifice their time and effort. Um, it hits you um, in the heart. It's just, it's, it's huge to see the, the, the giving of, of the community. The farm plans to reopen for students on June 3rd. It's a day that can't come here soon enough. The voices of the kids, that will be, that will be a huge thing to see them come back here. It'll be great. It'll probably make us all cry. It's, it's sad to not be able to do what we do right now, but we will. We'll do it again. And if you want to volunteer, the farm is looking for help Tuesday through Friday between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. Unfortunately, the farms lost some animals during the flood, but they're adding some new ones, including this two-week-old calf. Reporting in the studio, Phil Bergman, 3 News Now.